Okay, so uh, now we have to test our token scopes. Uh, if we look here, we have two scopes. Do anything, and it's for the administrator, and can create as for the author. So uh, to test these, we have to create two routes from here, and let's create a new group here. Okay, so uh, the prefix should be user, and yeah, we will need to have these uh, secured. So this is fine. Uh, and now the route uh, we should have a route uh, a post request, for example, and okay. Uh, as we are only testing these, uh, later we will replace on some real routes. So. Uh, Let's say uh, edit category, and here uh, we just want to return this. Well, message like. A message for say admin accessed uh, admin access okay let's remove this header and 200 so also create it's a status code and let's say 200 this is fine and uh, now we have to go this uh, also another middleware, uh, this one, sorry, uh, a middleware uh, and we will pass a scope here. Uh, let's go to the documentation and let's read something about this, okay? So here you see uh, we have assigned each token uh, scope like this and now we can check the scope uh, so first of all uh, let's first okay the uh, in this way we can check the scope but uh, we also need to have these these classes inside our uh, route middleware uh, and a http kernel so let's first put these in our app http and then kernel.php and then in route middleware so here we have to paste these and let's save it let's come back here okay so it says there that access token has both check status and place order scopes if we write scope so it's mean that uh, these scope uh, the access token should uh, must have these uh, two scopes then he will be able to uh, access this route okay okay just a simple scope uh, and not a plural one it mean uh, it means that uh, uh, it should have either scope uh, one scope and these both okay like uh, either Check status are place orders. Uh, if a token have each of the uh, one of uh, these scopes, then he will be able to access this route. So now let's move back to our editor. And here uh, we had uh, we had to define a scope here like uh, do anything. Okay, do and then anything. So it's mean that only admin will be able to access this route. If we look here, we have to do anything for the administrator only. So this is fine. Do anything. Okay, now let's copy this and paste it here. And we can give it a, a route like a create category and we will write everyone access 
status quo 200 turn off capacities are fine and the scope we can pass now to anything comma uh, can create so anyone will be able to access this route okay and uh, here i have the credential of normal user and these are the credential of administrator so uh, we have to generate both uh, access uh, access token for both so let's first send a request of simple user okay so we got uh, all the data of the user and also the access token and also the token type as uh, and token scope as can create okay and here we can also send okay so uh, uh, we got the access token and everything and the token scope is to anything now uh, to test our routes we need to make a request first we will test this one for example like edit category so let's copy this test it here okay uh, in the body we don't need nothing just headers we will need uh, authorization token if we send it like this uh, it will redirect us to the login page and we don't have the login page anyhow it is secured because of api or middleware mm, so we need to uh, have authorization and first let's send this token it should be post so carrier and then space and then this token okay okay now let's send it is this is a normal user so it uh, it should not access this route okay so it's uh, redirecting uh, redirecting to a page and if we preview this it says that port 03 and where it's scope provided okay so now if we use the same route but this time we will provide this access token so let's copy it from here and to here and let's change its value with this one okay now let's send it again we send and we are getting a scope for this also let's check it and i think it's the problem we don't need any space here i'm sure about this let's go back send it again and yes we got admin access successfully now let's try uh, again with this token okay as it is normal user like author so let's uh, insert headers no not these headers let's change this to this one send it and what we got here in the body if we preview and let access okay let's try again with this token as it is administrator it can do anything let's copy and go back come back here let's do this okay and yes we got a response and json okay admin access now let's test the second route so our second route is uh, create it should access everyone should access this so if we send this everyone access yeah fine and it was the admin now let's copy this copy paste it here send it yeah 
so now uh, everyone can access this route so our uh, token scope uh, is working correctly and now uh, we have to move forward to the uh, view uh, on the client side thank you and see you in the next tutorial